So in this video I'll be showing you how to get a free game that's sort of like Minecraft that is still being developed and it's not quite, well it's not as good but for a free game that runs on all the slower computers it's pretty good. It doesn't run, it doesn't use Java so you don't have to have Java installed on your computer. So once you go to the link in the description of this video you'll have this page come up or something similar depending on when you watch this video. If you watch it in a year or two, obviously the website will have changed quite a bit. So go to download. Then the latest version should be here, Windows XP Vista 8. Uh, you can use the installer, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's harder to install mods because you have to open your hard drive. And it's just easier to unzip the zip file. So click on the mine test 0.4.7 zip and it'll go straight to your downloads. <coughs> so all that downloads. Doesn't take too long. So close that. Go to your downloads folder. Uh, mine test. drag it to the desktop so this is the zipped folder if you don't have WinRAR or 7-zip it'll just be a normal folder with like a zip on it either way just click it and open it uh, extract it so you can either extract it to wherever you want to extract it to um, and then you choose a destination but I'm just going to drag it to the desktop and it'll extract it automatically so you can close that so once we've got this folder open up the folder go into the bin folder and double click the mine test uh, icon double click that and mine test will launch and what you need to do is click new and then name your world whatever you want to call it so after this one YouTube and click create and if I click play I can it will come up with this notification because you can use servers on mine test um, so click allow access and you can start the game so it, it doesn't use much processor you know it can run on fairly old computers I've got you know, like 500 mega RAM laptops not very fast processor barely any well barely any graphics at all and you know it, it runs pretty good it does have damage you know if I jump too high like jump off something you know I'll lose a few hearts and when you respawn you don't when you respawn you don't lose your items the items stay with you You do get saplings from trees that you know you can plant and grow. You know it's fine. I think you just have to leave it. And yeah. Um most of the crafting is the same. The inventory is the I button, not the E button. And you don't have to create a crafting table. You have a three by three square anyway. So, uh, we'll put all our tree in and we get wooden planks. And one wooden plank creates four sticks. So, now I can create a wooden pickaxe. 
Right, and create. I can remember how you do it. No, I, I'm not sure how you create an axe. Still. What I'm going to do quickly is just uh, close down to the menu, go to the settings, click change keys, find inventory, and change it to E, because on Minecraft the inventory button is E. So click save, single player, I'll just launch the game again quickly. And you can see there's like a, this, I don't know what you'd call it, running behind. That's just basically telling Minecraft, not Minecraft, it's telling Mindtest. Well, when you operate, when you click buttons on your keyboard, it tells the game that you're clicking the button to then tell the game to do things. So you can use a pickaxe to mine trees, but you know I don't really need to. So when you there's some stone. So if I try and use my hand to destroy the stone, I can't. It doesn't let you. As soon as I use a pickaxe. You can mine the blocks. As you see, when you mine the blocks, it doesn't actually leave like a just like pick up. The blocks go straight to your inventory. So if I mine that block from over here, it goes straight to my inventory. Or most of the ores are the same iron iron ore no redstone there is a redstone mod you can get some mods on the website um, coal exactly the same you mine it with at least a wooden pin no mine it with actually has some coal I don't think you can yeah you can you can mine it with a wooden pickaxe and once you have some coal like Create some torches. As you can see the torch is very if I just place it, it's 2D. If I stand from here I can barely see it. But if I stand from the other side, you know, it looks like a normal torch. It's kind of weird, but they do light up at night quite well. Of mine test, there was no sun or moon, it just kind of slowly went dark, which was really weird. Um, grass, flowers, quite a few different flowers as well. And the biggest thing that I really don't like night, you just have to. At night, you just have to wait the night out. There is no mobs. There used to be, but for some reason they were discontinued. I don't know why, because they were quite good. There was a version. Oh, I don't know if you look it up on the internet. Version that did have mobs. I tried it out. The mob was very funny. 2D. It lived in like a stone hole. So yeah, As you can see I'm running at 40, 50 FPS. So yeah, that's about it really. Close 
close the game. This folder, what I usually do, uh, the mind test icon, right click it and go create shortcut, and that creates a shortcut to it, then drag and drop that onto your desktop, and then delete the zipped file because you don't need that anymore, and put this mind test folder in your documents folder or in your games folder or put it wherever you want then leave the shortcut on your desktop and then just double click with the shortcut and the game will boot up and if you really want to you can delete the bit that says shortcut so it just says mind test capital M if it really bothers you that much and yeah that's it if you want to install mods off the site just um, download the mod and if you go into the mind test then mods folder and there'll be like a notepad saying just to place the unzip mod file folder into here. Most of the mods I've tried recently don't work but I'm not sure why it is but I think you're better off just trying trying just to get on get along with mind test how it already is and waiting for the development to get better. So yeah, that's about it really. Nothing else. I'll probably do more videos on how to get... Well, I've already done a... Um, Terrasology, a good game. Or another one like Minecraft. The graphics in this game are brilliant. Um, Another Mithruna, that's still being developed. I say that again and again. Um, it's a really good game. The development at the moment is really good. So I'll have those videos up soon.